Hello, 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 everybody. Happy Friday. Friday night, 9 o'clock here in New York. Here for one quick game, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Singles. Playing for the NECC tonight against Farmingdale, Farmingdale State College. Playing against the player K3. We got our very own Battaloos, a.k.a. Hunter. The opponent just uh, just checked in, setting up the arena right now. Should be joining shortly. Hunter and the rest of the Smash players coming off a rough loss on Tuesday in Cruise. But Hunter arguably, uh, or Battaloos arguably had some of the best moments in that crew battle. Taking out multiple stocks from multiple opponents left and right. He was cooking. He was cooking for sure. So now we're just narrowed it right down. 1v1s, no crews, no nothing like that. Let's see who's going to come out on top. One quick game. So K3 has entered the arena from Farmingdale. And right now I'm assuming they're just running through bands, picking characters. Should be getting started here shortly. I'm curious to see this one. We have a pretty solid Smash Ultimate group here at SUNY Potsdam. But we've transitioned from doing a bunch of singles on Thursdays and Fridays to doing just crews on Tuesdays. So much less games now than, uh, than last semester. And I think that's for better and for worse. Um, Hunter's the only one here doing singles. K3 has jumped in. So we're going to be jumping right into game one right now. Let's go. Ooh, a Pokemon trainer. Interesting. All right, we're going into PS2. Pokemon Trainer on PS2. Busted. Busted. Anyways. Actually, we got Pokemon Deluxe here. We got Incineroar's a Pokemon, too. So, even playing field. Let me take that back. Squirtle's definitely going to have a pretty uh, pretty fun time juggling Incineroar around. Pokemon Trainer's really good. And, I mean, 
Squirtle just has crazy combos, but one good, look at that, 21%. Squirtle's already in kill range. One down B into side B, the Squirtle's dead. So, uh, Battle Loser's gotta be careful here. Wait, that's really sad. Wait, that's really sad. The water gun pushing him off the ledge after up being. He wasn't able to get it back. All right, Ivysaur here to play. It's going for the counter there to uh, get the, what's it called, the Vine Whip Boomerang thing. All right, he lands an up B. Nice, nice. Down a stock, but anything can happen. Anything can happen. And this Ivysaur is just all over him right now. Out comes the Charizard. We got two fire types here. Let's see what happens. Ooh, landing in front of the shield, able to get grabbed here. Gotta watch the flame breath the bow. Oh no, that was sick. I can't even be that mad. What the? Ooh, okay. This is shaping up to be rough. Um, let's see if we can get a stock here. I mean, Incineroar can eat stocks like nobody's business, so... King 3's been playing pretty safe. Yeah, spot dodge in that side B. Uh, and these Squirtle Ivysaur combos are just going crazy. This is like textbook Pokemon Trainer swaps and everything here. Um, but you know, it's not over till it's over. He's got this Ivysaur up to 100%, just barely missing the down air. Oh, and the up air actually hitting him there. Oh, the chains. Okay, good. Oh, ooh, looking for that side B. That up air is going to do it? Wow. The falling up air through platform going to do it. And K3 with a three stop. I don't even this Friday night. Unfortunate way to start this game here. But I can't, I can't lie and say that K3 wasn't moving because they were moving. But that's okay. Just one game. Got to get the rust off. You know, shake it off. Shake it off. <coughs> Going through stage bands here. I wonder if they'll stay on PS2. Going to Smashville this time. Interesting. Interesting. I don't really know if there's any good or bad stages um, for Pokemon Trainer, given that it's three characters with varying weights and weaknesses and strengths. But I feel like Smashville can't be too bad of an idea. Get those kills early. Um, obviously going to have to be careful about getting... Oh, going to the Mewtwo. Sticking with Pokemon theme here tonight. We got Pokemon all over the place. Love to see it. Mewtwo, an interesting choice. If I had to guess, this is going to be a secondary. Um, we'll see how this goes. Off to a much slower start this time. Uh, good down B. Is it... What? Okay. Oh, hypnotize. Oh, holding ledge on that. I believe it was down smash there. Oh, the edge guards are crazy. Edge guards are crazy. Mewtwo's got some sick stuff. I just feel like the character is like such a weird bulky hitbox tail. That I think it's like a little over. Oh my god, the juggles are crazy in the nair chains. What's going on here? Hunter looking for any damage he can. I mean, able to dodge the hypnotize that time. I wonder if he goes off here. He does go off here. Oh, it actually gets the. I think that was a stage spike that K3 missed the tech on. That's the momentum. That's the sort of momentum shift you want. Uh, looks like he went for an up there there, predicting the jump. He's doing a lot better here, spacing out these nairs. Uh, okay, that worked out. That actually worked out pretty well. You keep throwing out. Oh! Oh! Okay, that was a really sick uh, ledge trump there, or whatever you want to call it. Two frame. Definitely not a ledge trump. 
Once you're able to jump out of some of these down throw combos. Here's the back air. Gotta get back. Grabs ledge, doesn't overshoot, luckily. K3 was waiting for it, for sure. Mmm, he's gonna get caught with that. Unfortunate. Still doable, though. Pretty close. Oh, oh, he waited on the get up, but he's still able to get it with a neutral B. Really good, uh, kind of frame trapping there. I don't really know what he could have done there. He waited on the get up or the tech because of the side B, and I mean, it worked out pretty well, but then he just ended up cornered in ledge. I don't know what K3's options were there. So we got even stocks, even game here in game two. K3 off to a quick lead, but this is how it... Okay. Mmm, almost getting the forward air, but he's able to teleport out of it. Don't? Okay. If I say don't get up into that, please. Oh, spot dodging the side B. Ooh, missing the tech. Rolling in. Neutral B. Even percents. Going for the two frame again. That almost killing. Gotta watch out for that, uh, for the hypnotize. Is the backer gonna do it? Ooh, the backer is gonna do it. Much closer game this go around than the other one. Uh, Mewtwo, I'm assuming, like I said, this K3 secondary. Battle is definitely, uh, keeping it really close that time. Getting the rust off, shaking the rust off. Let's see who K3 goes with this time, if he goes back to the Pokemon trainer or not. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a best of five, so we should be uh, seeing one more game here at least. Unless we get the uh, the reverse 3-0. Imagine. Battle loose. Let's go. Rooting for you. Hmm. A 3-0 is not how you want to spend your Friday night. I'll tell you that. But hey, we're here for the game, for the love of the game, no matter if you win or lose, right? Kidding. It does matter. It's not all that matters, though. Going to Hollow Bastion for this round. See what happens. Sticking with the Mewtwo. That makes sense. Keeping it, uh, keeping it closer. I gotta respect K3 sportsmanship. Not that Battlers couldn't have adapted to the Pokemon trainer. But after leading with a three stock, I actually really respect going over to the Mewtwo. Uh, really close games. And then seeing how close that game was in the middle there and then keeping it this way. I like that. Although I will have to say, if Battle Lose takes this game, I have a feeling K3 is going back to that Pokemon trainer. But you are sacrificing momentum that way. So, you know. Oh, really good down B there. Catching just the tail end of that Nair. That tail end on the Mewtwo tail. Side B kind of putting him in an unfortunate spot there. Maybe looking for a jump or something? Not a bad option, but did miss. Get down, folks. Down air? Ooh. Oh, up smash, gonna take it. Battle lose up, up a stock. Definitely getting a little hungry for that counter. It's an easy way to get up some quick percent. Going for that side B there. Oh. Down. He gets back. Safe. Not able to connect that back air. Is back door gonna kill? I'm about to say, no way. I know, like, high percent and all, but still. He gets up there. Oh, he actually doesn't get up there. I'm full of it. But now we got an even game here. You two with the charge. I don't know what you want to call that. Good air dodge. Oh, almost getting it. Might have been able to get it right there. These Nair combos are pretty difficult for Incineroar to deal with, I feel like. Good neutral B. Quick damage. Starting to hold shield a lot, I understand. Down throw. Good DI. Going for the down air again. Word. K3 able to shield it. Get back to ledge. Ooh, that back air would have actually been really good. Just barely missed the spacing on there. Recovers with a Nair. Covers high with a Nair. Ooh, that's gonna be a kill. Yep, yep. Now K3 up a stock. Game three. Let's see. Oh, he grabbed out of the neutral B. It looked like he got hit once, but then grabbed him before it, like mattered interesting yo i'm gonna be honest i've never seen a mewtwo schmove around like this i got you know pokemon trainer i have pokemon trainers busted whatever like whatever cool cool character 
one of the better characters in the game. K3 is playing amazing. Seeing a Mewtwo move like this is actually pretty cool. I, I respect that. What a big good roll. Oh, not quite able to get that smash. The down smash missing. How did that miss? Good in there. Patience, patience. Oh, that was actually almost sick. such a sick edge guard. The high recovery, and yeah, that is going to do it. So an unfortunate 3 0 here from for Battle Lose going, dropping games to K3 from Farmingdale State College. Um, they're cracked. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. They were just moving like crazy on Mewtwo. Okay, like, yeah, word, word. I respect it. Yo, yo. So yeah, that is an unfortunate loss against Farmingdale, but like I said, kind of respect the a Mewtwo moving around like that. So I mean, that good games. Good. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. So yeah, good games. Hopefully Battle Lose can uh, get some dubs in the future. And now he's looking for another game to play as he's retiring from Smash Ultimate. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Peace.